Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this lecture, we are going to talk about Vibrio cholerae microbiology. Microbiology of Vibrio cholerae bacteria. So let's dig in, let's start. The first important parameter we are going to discuss is the gram nature of Vibrio cholerae and Vibrio cholerae is gram negative in nature. The next important parameters we are going to discuss is the diseases caused. So disease caused by Vibrio cholerae is cholera, a diarrheal disease that causes watery diarrhea and ultimately leads to the dehydration and even death of the individual. Virulence factors uh, that are involved in a Vibrio cholerae by provided by the Vibrio cholerae, what are the virulence factors? Cholera toxin, CT. What is cholera toxin? It causes diarrhea. So cholera toxin is an exotoxin also known as the enterotoxin that attacks our intestinal cells and that cause diarrhea by increasing the cyclic AMP levels in our body. The next one is toxin co-regulated pilus or TCP. So toxin co-regulated pilus uh, or TCP is in place. What is TCP? It facilitates the colonization of uh, the cholera bacteria in our small intestine. The third one is type 4 secretion system. With the help of type 4 secretion system, uh, the cholera can deliver the effector proteins into the host cell. So the Vibrio cholerae bacteria can deliver the effector protein into the host cell via the type 4 secretion system that they have. Apart from that, let's talk about the incubation period. How long does it take to cause this uh, infection? Short, typically ranging from 12 hours to maximum 5 days. Generally, within 12, 48 hours is the time frame for incubation. Antibiotic susceptibility. If you talk about the antibiotic susceptibility, uh, the susceptible to antibiotics like the list here, doxycycline, azithromycin, ciprofloxacin are the antibiotics that Vibrio cholerae is susceptible to. Now about the antibiotic resistance. If you talk about the antibiotic resistance here, then we have some strains have developed resistance to certain antibiotics but resistance remains uh, relatively low overall okay and next is culture method what is the culture method to culture vibrio cholerae grows on specialized culture media what are the specialized media thiosulfate citrate bile salt sucrose agar media TCBSS. Okay, this is the media where we can culture them. It forms yellow color colonies in that culture media, which is clearly detectable. What are the detection methods for Vibrio cholerae in the host body? There are four methods we are going to talk about. The method number one is stool cultures. Stool cultures can reveal the presence of Vibrio cholerae bacteria, isolating the Vibrio cholerae from the fecal samples. The second important uh, detection method that we can use are molecular test or PCR, specifically detect uh, the presence of nucleic acid uh, part of the Vibrio cholerae. Uh, what about the serological tests uh, that we perform? Third one is the serological te test that we can detect the antibodies uh, body produces against the Vibrio cholerae. And the fourth detection method that we can use here is the rapid diagnostic tests. We have some of them that detects the cholera toxin in the stool samples. So these are all the four detection methods that we can use to detect Vibrio cholerae. I believe you have a clear idea about Vibrio cholerae now. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.